just the biggest boom you can imagine. It just, I can't explain to the, lay in your bed and I'll, boom. Yeah, boom, that shook an entire home after something in the room next to that man's room exploded early this morning. Yep, he was one of the people who says he was inside that Sarah Mesa home when that explosion started a fire. You just saw the flames, two people hurt. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is live at the scene as investigators try to piece together, Marie, exactly what happened. Marie, you spoke to the people, some of the people who were inside. That man says the explosion was so loud that he still feels it. Yeah, Jared and Virginia, he says he still feels it uh, in his ears. He also says he's feeling it in his throat because of that smoke. And again, he is one of five people living inside of this house uh, right now. Investigators are inside trying to figure out what caused this explosion and fire. I hope none of you have ever experienced just laying there in bed and just you hear something. Then all of a sudden my roof came down, my bedroom door blew in and I didn't see any flames at first. Then all of a sudden, everybody's yelling and screaming, and get out of the house, get out of the house. So that's Patrick Spinelli, one of five people who live inside of this home on Grayling Drive. He says he woke up to a loud noise and then he saw flames. He says they live with two men in their 80s and his main concern was getting them out safely. One of them is the owner, Bill, who even grabbed a hose and tried to put the fire out. It came within about that far of oh, no. reaching the room that I needed to get to. Yeah. And so I, I grabbed it and I was going to come around out the front door and to hook it up so I could do, do better with it. But uh, uh, the door, I couldn't get out the door because the wall was blown out. Two people were taken to the hospital. The residents say both were staying in the room where the explosion happened. Uh, the woman is said to have suffered burn injuries. And at this point, again, the cause of the explosion and fire is still under investigation. Uh, we also know that the Red Cross, they are out here to help the residents who, for now, have been kept out of their home. Live from Sarah Mesa, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.